Hello, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's video is going to be a quick open SCAD video. And first, let me apologize for when I say open SCAD. It's a bad habit. I know it's open SCAD, I think is the official pronunciation. And then two, let me say, if you're a free CAD fan, don't worry, I'll be back to free CAD. I love free CAD, but I also like open SCAD. So what I want to show you real quick is that is is the idea of using the um, animation feature to make live changes to your drawing. So here I have my piston being animated, and um, you know, so this is something I was I wanted to do for a video is how to animate a piston. And let me show you. Um, so one of the things is I have this explode function that I call, and let me set it to false. And you can see right away my drawing redraws and. Let's say I need need to make a change. Um, I don't know. Let me let me make a change to the size of the uh, crank radius. I don't know what this is going to do to my drawing because so you see right away everything changed and I can see right away. And the reason is is because when you use animate, let me recenter this. Okay, so when you use animate, basically on every animation, FreeCAD redraws the model, so you get a sort of a free uh, auto update. And let me show you some more. Uh, for example, I need to move this crank to the left a little bit, so I need to go in the, so it's not like superimposed. Sorry, I'm all over the place. Uh, so let me move this, so I need to move it in the negative Y. So let's see if I can find that. Or connecting rod, sorry. So I wanna move this in the negative Y, so let me move it four. Oh, too much, oh, that was 40. So you can see it updated just right away. Now to do this, it's uh, very simple. So let me, you, you do uh, you do lose uh, one thing. For example, you lose, let me see if I can get that window thing back. Let's see, um, <clears throat> let me reset the view. Nope. So but I, I hid my uh, output window here. I'm not remembering how to get that back at the moment. Let's see, edit, design, no. Yeah, forget this stuff. Hide editor, hide toolbars. Anyway, um, oh, hide console. I was going backward. So you do lose that because it's constantly cycling. But to turn off animation, you go into view and animate, and you can see then you get your console back. So if you need to see an error message or something. Um, but basically you're gonna uh, get your errors quicker because it's not gonna draw. Um, now it will, the, the other um, trade-off is that you know, as you're typing something. So say I was at the, started typing translate, um, you know, you, you may not get a full drawing or you may get a full, an error or whatever. Um, so like, uh, so I have my explode function here. So if I change this to true, um, you can see right away, it just updated it to explode. So that's it, it was just a quick tip. You know, um, I really like doing this. I don't do it all the time, but I do it, you know, maybe when I'm, when I know uh, most of my code is working and I just want to tweak things, uh, you know, like I tweaked that, uh, you know, I'll, I'll uh, turn on the animation. <clears throat> oh, and so what's important to understand is, so this is your frames per second, and this is the total number of steps in the animation. It's not steps per second. So you can see I have it five per second. You could like do two and it would go real slow. Um, and more importantly, take, take up less computing cycles so if you have a you know a lower end machine, uh, this will work better. Now if you have a very complex model, this is not going to work out. So it's only for probably the smaller models and whatnot. So at any rate, uh, I hope that tip helps some people. Let me know if you use it in the comments uh, or if you have any other tips like that. Uh, you know, especially if you want me to make a video about them. Um, make sure you subscribe. I do free CAD and some other stuff too. And click the alarm bell if you want to get a notice when I update videos. Thanks and have a great day.